All right, good morning, everybody. We have finally reached it. Welcome to lesson 120, multiplying by mixed numbers. Remember, that means whole numbers and fractions together. So let's see what we have going on today. Remember, to change a mixed number into an improper fraction, multiply, then add. The denominator will stay the same. If you had one and a fourth, you're going to start at the denominator of four. Multiply that times the whole number. Four times one is four, plus one more makes five. The denominator stays the same. One and one fourth is really equal to five fourths as an improper fraction. So to multiply mixed numbers, first you have to convert them into improper fractions, then multiply. We already know how to do that. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Remember to simplify and reduce your answer if necessary. So let's take a look here. Instead of thinking of this guy as one and one-fifth, first we're going to have to remember to go and multiply, then add. Instead of one and one-fifth, we're really going to think of this guy as six-fifths. Multiply denominator times the whole number. Three times one is three plus two more makes five-thirds. So now I have six-fifths times five-thirds. Now just do regular fraction multiplying. Six times five is 30. Five times three is 15. So now I have 30 fifteenths, an improper fraction. Can we get it simplified in our head? How many times does 15 divide into 30, and that answer would be 2. Let's try another one. 1 and 2 fifths times 1 and a half. Remember, we're going to start off. Multiply, then add. 1 and 2 fifths. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 more is 7. The denominator's going to go and stay the same. So one and two fifths, I really have to think about as seven fifths. Let's try it here with one and a half. Multiply one times two, then add two plus one more. That's going to give us three. Denominator stays the same. If I have a denominator of two, I'm going to use a denominator of two down here. So think of this as seven fifths times three halves. Seven times three, that's going to give us 21. Denominator times denominator, five times two, that's going to be 10. So I have 21 tenths, 10 divides into 21, two whole times, right? It's going to multiply back for 20 and subtract for 1. So 21 tenths is really 2 and 1 tenth, just like we were practicing on those mental math quizzes. Here I have 2 and a half times 3 and a half. Always start. Multiply, then add. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 more. That's 5. The denominator stays the same. If I have halves in the mixed number, I need halves for my improper fraction. I'm going to go and multiply that by the next improper fraction. Start with the denominator of 2. Multiply, then add. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 more makes 7. I have a denominator of 2, so it's not going to change. 2 would be my denominator down here. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. 5 times 7, that's going to give us a grand total of 35. Denominator times denominator, 2 times 2, that's going to give us 4. Can we get this guy simplified in our head? 4 is going to divide into 35 8 whole times, right? It's going to multiply back for 32. 35 minus 32, that's going to give us 3 left over. If you need to work that out on a scratch piece of paper, that is entirely up to you. We ended up with a grand total of 
8 and 3 fourths. Here's kind of a different one. I don't have a mixed number here. I only have the whole number 4. What do you do for a whole number to turn them into a fraction? Hopefully you remember, we write them with a denominator of 1. 4 over 1 would be the same as the whole number 4. Go ahead and multiply it by the next guy. Multiply, then add. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 more. That's going to give us 11. Denominator stays the same. So if I have 3 for a denominator, I'm still going to have 3 for a denominator in the improper fraction. Numerator times numerator, 4 times 11, that's going to give us 44, right? Denominator times denominator, 1 times 3, that's going to give us 3. I have 44 thirds. Don't leave the answer as an improper fraction. Let's get it converted. I might need some extra help on this one. 3 divides into 4. One whole time multiplies back 4, 3. It's going to go ahead and subtract 4, 1. Bring down your next number, your 4. And now I have 14 divided by 3. Well, 3 is going to divide into 14 four whole times. Multiply it back for 12, and it looks like it's going to go ahead and subtract for 2. So, I have a grand total of 14 and 2 thirds. Let's try one more like this. What do we do when they give us a fraction? Well, that took half the job because the whole point of this is to make everything into a fraction. So we don't have anything to do there. Let's just go and write down one-fourth, and I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out what my other fraction is. I multiply, then add. Five times one is five, plus two more. That's going to give us seven. Denominator stays the same. If I have five for a denominator in my mixed number, I have five for a denominator in my improper fraction. Numerator times numerator, 1 times 7, hey, that's 7. Denominator times denominator, 4 times 5, that is going to be 20. I don't even have to go and do any simplifying or reducing for a final answer of 7 twentieths. And that, my friends, is the end. You are definitely going to want to scratch a piece of paper for the Socrative quiz today. Make sure to simplify and reduce when necessary, and good luck. Well, that's all, folks. That's my line. Step aside, babe. Let a star do this. That's all. That's all, folks. Can I go home now?